3D packages use hierarchies to link the rotation, scale, and position of objects to each other. If one object moves, the linked object will move with it. In the first part of this tutorial, we'll explain a basic hierarchy. Then we'll group many objects to a null for easier transformation. In the third part, we'll organize a simple scene with multiple levels. Hierarchies in 3D software are much like the folders in Windows that organize our computer files. In 3D, they're almost the same, but rather than organizing files, they categorize three-dimensional objects. Here is a cube and a sphere. By dragging the sphere into the cube, we can create a hierarchy. This is called a parent-child relationship. The parent is the object that's on top of the hierarchy, and in this case, it's the cube. The child is on the bottom, and here, it's the sphere. Let's grab the sphere and move, scale, and rotate it. As we can see, it has no influence over the cube, which is its parent. Now let's transform the cube. See how the sphere reacts as if it's part of the cube? This is because it's inheriting the transforms or the rotation, scale, and translation of the cube. Let's unparent these objects and reverse the situation. This time we'll parent the cube to the sphere. Now the sphere is the parent and the cube is the child. Notice how the cube has no influence over the sphere. However, the sphere passes on its transforms to the cube. Let's move the cube down a little and leave it in a new position. See how the sphere still affects it? Some programs also display this relationship as a node network, but it's exactly the same. It's just displayed differently. The arrow points from the parent to the child. Folder networks are usually used for hierarchies that inherit transforms, that is, the rotation scale and translation. Node networks also allow objects to inherit other attributes, like constraints, equation, and even color information. Nulls are objects that can't be seen when rendered. They're used much like folders in Windows to mark, categorize, or to place object positions. They can be different shapes, most commonly a cross or a box. Sometimes people use curves or other objects as nulls. Programs can have many different names for nulls, like groups, dummies, or locators. Here, more than 200 objects form this car. If we rotate each object, the car breaks apart. This is because each object is rotating around its own pivot point. Here we're scaling the objects. To make it a bit easier, we can group all of these objects together by storing them under the null object. Now we simply select the null to rotate, scale, and move all the objects at once. Here's a simple scene consisting of a fruit bowl, table, and rug. Let's arrange the objects into a hierarchy with multiple levels. In this structure, the rug at the top of the hierarchy moves everything below. The table leaves the rug behind because the rug is above in the hierarchy. The plate takes the fruit because the fruit objects are below, but leaves the table and the rug above. None of the fruit affect any objects, because they are all on the same level at the bottom of the hierarchy as children of the plate. We can even add a bug and put it on the apple. Now the bug moves because the bug is the child of the apple. Whilst this example is intuitive, these are all virtual connections. So unlike in real life, we can effectively parent anything to anything. So let's parent the rug to the bug and the bug to the orange. Now the bug affects the rug and the orange affects both the rug and the bug below. When creating our hierarchies, it's important to organize the parenting order sensibly. It also helps to name the objects correctly too.